The space race is back on, but this time it doesn't involve the US or Russia. This is your space pod for October 12, 2010. And we're back, although maybe we should take a break more often. While Space Vidcast was on hiatus, we found an exoplanet that could be Earth-like. Discovery rolled out to the pad and China launched a lunar probe. Yep, China's going to the moon. Actually, they're already there. On October 1st, the China National Space Administration launched Chenggao-2 aboard a Long March 3C rocket. Once in space, the satellite would do a pretty direct beeline to the moon, and it's the first time the Chinese space program has put a satellite into Earth-Moon transfer orbit without having to circle the Earth first. This, of course, meant that the vehicle had quite a bit of oomph when reaching the moon, and it would need to successfully carry out three braking maneuvers to get to a stable lunar orbit. On Saturday, October 9th, that's exactly what it did as it successfully carried out the third and final braking maneuver, putting Chang'e 2 in a 100 kilometer high position above good old Luna. Now that China has their second satellite around the moon, they will carry out recon for the next phase of the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program. Chang'e 2 is the last craft in phase one, then phase two will have Chang'e 3, which will put lunar rovers on the moon sometime around 2013. Phase 3 will continue building upon their previous missions with Chang'e 4 automating the return of lunar soil back to Earth sometime around 2017. Now, what's all this add up to? Well, China's looking to put humans on the moon sometime around 2025. But hang on, this space race can't just have one contestant. India is not going to let China beat them to the punch. The Indian Space Research Organization has targeted 2020 as the date that they want to put humans back on the moon. Now, back in 2008, India had a successful unmanned lunar mission with Chandrayaan-1, and in 2013, they're looking to expand on that success with Chandrayaan-2. This is all great news. We'll be watching with bated breath to see who really puts humans back on the moon first. China, India, or maybe a possible third as of yet unknown variable, such as SpaceX or Armadillo or Mastin Space Systems. Who knows, but it sure is fun to watch. Now for now, we'll just wait for some of the high resolution imagery to come from Chang'e 2 right on back to us. China will be taking a close look at the lava flooded Bay of Rainbows as that could be a possible landing site for Chang'e 3. And by the way, does anyone else want to hit that big red button to launch a giant rocket? I know I do. <laughs> 